If you're looking for decapitated children, naked old women, and naked old men, you've come to the right spot, Rudy Land Gang. How are you on this evening? Hopefully not too mischievous, let's say. <laughs> mischievous, you mean? Well, that'll, I'll come around to that later in the spoiler section, let's say. Today we watched uh, Hereditary, a film that was not about, but also entirely about schizophrenia. What'd you think? How do you feel about hereditary? Um, well, it's, uh, it's, it's very well made. Like, you as gotta far admit as, that, for sure. Yeah, you gotta give it up. Like, it's extremely well shot. A lot of the acting is really, really good. Um, there's some really smart things that are done in the movie. Yeah. Um, but I really... It did some really great things where I was like, wow, this is great, but I gotta be honest with you, on the whole, it didn't work for me. It was the most boring, interesting movie I've ever seen in my life. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Like, it, it sprinkled in, there'd be... Even the boring stuff, like, it should be compelling, like... the This happens pretty early, so it's not really a spoiler, I guess. Oh, um, dies. Oh, great, but yeah, that's kind of a spoiler. That's kind of a big deal, you'd say, right? I had no, as soon as they were dealing with it, I had no, I'm like, all right, let's just get on to the weird stuff. Mm. Yeah, I, I didn't feel that way. And even when the stuff at the end started getting interesting, I was like, all right, I know exactly, I've seen this coming a mile away, just come on, let's get on with it. But yeah. it was still interesting at the end, I, I gotta give it that. There was interesting things sprinkled all throughout, but I don't know. It's just, the rest of it was just incredibly, mon not mundane, but it was boring. I wanted more fucking Gabriel Byrne, for one thing. Yeah, it was great to see Gabriel Byrne in a wide-release movie. Uh, he's great in the movie. He's really, really good. He's the um, stoic figure, let's say. He's very say. subdued he's, and, yeah. and focused. He's got it all together. He's the centered one. Um, he plays the father. And, uh, you know, the basic plot... Because, you know, we're pretty much going to get into the spoiler section pretty quick, because there's, there's... We'll do, we'll just go into the basic, what you need to know going yeah, in, so and then we'll the, give you our record, whether you should the, see it or the not. The jumping off point of the movie is, um, Toni Collette, the mother of the family, her, her mother has died. And she's, you know, she's got a little daughter, she's got a, a son, and it's, uh, you know, them all in the house. Do you think the daughter might, like, be a midget or something? She... Yeah, I was shocked because they say she's 13, and I was like, wow. She, she looked like the grandma. They had her and the grandma side by side at yeah. the funeral. They had the same nose, not the same nose, but, you know, very yeah. similar noses. Yeah, but th that's the jumping off point. There's there's a funeral right at the beginning, and... Very early on, we learned that's that much all they don't really say. get along that well, Tony Collette and her mother. No, they had a very estranged relationship. Her mother was a, a very, um... Secretive person. Secretive, uh, strange, distant, yeah. stubborn kind of lady. Mm -hmm. She did these weird rituals. It's brought up, but it's not really in depth, yeah. so we're not sure what what you mean rituals. Maybe she has OCD or something. But they didn't get along. She's dead, and now she sort of feels feels weird about it. Tony yeah. Collette. And uh, what I would say to people is that you know, A twenty four put this out. And they put a lot of, you know, different types of horror films. That you different put. types of films. I'm pretty sure they were connected to You Were Never Really Here. Um, they they might have. They they put out Green Room, which was fantastic. But yeah. they also, I believe, put out uh, The Witch. Yeah, and, I'm pretty uh, sure they did as well. They did It Comes at Night. And I still um, haven't seen that. They did a they did a few other movies and. One of the main things I would say with all of those movies is that people have felt, you know, a type of way about the marketing. They may have felt lied to that they were kind of going in for what a horror you, movie. For this movie, what did you, what was the marketing? Just straight horror the well, whole I, way? 
I you um, didn't watch it. I didn't really watch the trailer. I I I was just like, I want to see this movie, so yeah. I, I avoided it. I remember seeing the trailer, and I was, as you all know, I'll see a trailer once, watch it, analyze it, and then forget everything about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. I remember thinking that looks interesting. At least yeah. I don't remember if it was specifically horror. I don't. Or... I don't think it. I don't think it was sold as. Um, I know a lot of people have said this is kind of the next horror classic, but that's what people have said. That's what a lot of people have said, and kind of. There's, see, that's and what stuff. I was at the very beginning. That's what I was feeling because there's a lot yeah. of moments where it's very unnerving, but then there's yeah. a lot of moments where the opposite is the effect. Yeah, I'm feeling cringy. I'm feeling like, all right, come on. Yeah, Not cringy in a good for a horror movie way, cringy like, all right, come on, let's yeah, let's get something going. Let's do something. It's brilliant in a lot of sections and it does really nail your catchphrase uh, atmosphere. You know, you get a lot of really great atmosphere. Yeah. There's yeah. this one shot when they're um, just outside the house and it's completely in shadow. The moon or light source is behind it. Yeah. It looks so dark. It's really, it's really cool. Yeah, there's great color correction on the movie. It's it's just got a real kind of blue tint to it. And um, except for a few moments, do you remember when yeah. they were at dinner? It was super, super yellow, red, yeah. orangish. There's you know lots I mean? of different colors, and it's yeah. it's really well shot. I've I'm not familiar with the DP, but um, it's. Really great cinematography. Um, like I said, the acting's good. I, I really liked Toni Collette. She sold the, you know, a lot of things. Yeah. She was maybe a little uneven in a couple places. Yeah. Um, the son, definitely the weakest link. I was gonna say that. Um, yeah. He um, whenever he was crying, I had to laugh because it was like. Uh, somebody in a high school play do crying, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's, it's funny that you bring that up because he was in uh, a Netflix movie called Death Note, and there's there's a scene in, in that where, where he's he, crying, where he's like crying and yelling, and it's really really awkward. It's like, wow, you should have cut that. They see that he did it before. Why are you giving him another chance to fuck up, guys? Yeah. But um, I actually kind of like him. Did as you an like actor. him towards the end when he wasn't crying? Towards the end of the movie, or yeah. just? Towards... Well, let's just say, forget towards the end of the movie. When he wasn't super emotional, do you think he did an okay? Yeah, I, job? I like him as an actor. I liked him in Death Note. Um, you know, I, I, I don't find him offensive. Some people think he's a shitty actor, but... I mean, he was okay, except for yeah. the super emotional parts, he was okay. I didn't yeah. notice him either being too bad his, or too good. His cry know? isn't quite up to snuff. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite up to snuff. But uh, um, is there anything you want to kind of mentioned broadly before we go into recommendations and then I would say close. the biggest problem for this one for me was just cut out a third of it get it's rid of movie. a bunch of the emotional stuff like mm. they're sprinkling this specific horror element in front of my face every 10 15 minutes but I'm not really right. we're going right back to oh I love you but I'm scared of you or whatever the fuck it was well, yeah, I, um, I, I can't really recommend this. Um, I'd say see it for the weirdness. Yeah, At the end, I like you didn't the weirdness. Pay to say this, though. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's my fucking recommendation. <laughs> I don't give a shit what I paid. People are coming here to hear me, right. motherfucker. Yeah. And you. <laughs> and us. So you recommended that people go and pay for this. Yeah, sure. How many mm -hmm. other? weird family drama horrors that are two hours plus are you going to see? Yeah. Um, that have some very genuinely unnerving and creepy things in it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to recommend this. I, uh... Sure. I, uh... It's, it's just you're going to be really disappointed when you leave the theater. It's 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 a real bummer. It's a downer. And, uh... Like I said, it's it's a family drama. It's not a horror movie. It's it's similar to The me. Witch was a family drama. Same thing. That's, that's the way I felt. I felt like this was The Witch, but 21st century. Yeah. Like, they were going for that kind of thing. And a little, it felt like that a little bit. It felt more... Honestly, I'm going to save spoilers for what it really felt like to me, because that's going right. to probably ruin it for everybody. Right. Um... I could see what was going on the entire way. I just wish that it got to... I It either... During that ride, it had more creepiness, more eeriness, as opposed to more emotion. Okay. The emotional stuff was good. If you're looking for an emotional movie, you keep showing scary, spooky stuff. I'm like, oh, all right, let's get spooky. Let's get scared a little yeah. bit. All right. Well, want to go If um, you have any hesitation, wait till you get, wait till it comes yeah. out. Yeah. Get it from the local library. Yeah, I would say even if you're a 
just like a massive horror fan, like I don't think you need to see this in the theater. I think you can wait to see it at home. I mean, it, yeah. I don't yeah. think it's that. I don't think this requires seeing it in the theater. No. I don't think that. The sound. Added to there it. wasn't any real like crazy. No. The sound wasn't too crazy. It was very. That's the another thing with horror these days. It's they have a lot of the same music, sound, composition. Yeah, there's really almost like no score at all in this movie. It's just like really quiet. This movie spoilers. Cocksucker. This movie is essentially Rosemary's Baby, but less about the horror, more about the relationship between Rosemary and Tom, I think his name was, or husband or something. Right. Yeah. And that was my biggest issue, because like Rosemary's Baby, they would have creepy random stuff come up like, uh, what's, what's Tannis? You're getting sickly, my dear. Oh, I'm pregnant. Some, my doctor said sometimes. But here it was, we start, we, the kid wakes up in bed after his sister has died, which he has essentially caused the death of. Yeah. We'll get into that in a second. He hears the click she makes. She does that stupid, there you go. He hears that, turns, sees a shadow, fade to the next day. And that was a, that was a lot of the scares up until that final final stanza. It was just yeah. <gasps> Who's that? Yeah. There's one flat cut to next day. Yeah. Yeah. There's... I'm surprised the little girl didn't. I'm pissed she didn't like give somebody the bird's head at the party mm. before she ate the cake and went into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> a yeah. lot went on in this movie. That's yeah. why it's hard it's for me to say things. it's boring, but it really it was. There's it a is. lot going yeah. on, but. I don't know if I didn't care. There's no driving force for it yeah, behind me, I but I just didn't. Re yeah. I wasn't really into it. Yeah, I would say there's one really good scare towards the beginning that had me hooked, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Now we're gonna get yeah, into it. Yeah, because the beginning, I was right when it started, I was like, "Oh, I'm kind of excited. This is gonna be kind of cool." Yeah, there's uh, there's a scene where she's like in her room with all the models, the mother, and she goes to kind of leave and then you see the you shadowy see, outline of the grandmother you see her though it's yeah. not just shadowy outline yeah. you can see her face you oh, can yeah. see her skin tone but she's it's... in the darkness exactly yeah. and hey. I was like holy shit this is super fucking creepy and I, I was excited it. at that point oh. man I was like fuck yeah is this the way it's gonna go and that is the height of the movie that is the height of the Even scare like the ending? No, this ending fucking sucked. Fuck the ending. Why of this don't movie. you give them Honestly, what you think they had? What describe for them what the ending was to you? Well, I mean, throughout the whole entire movie, she's bringing up schizophrenia. Yeah. She says her her brother killed himself. Not over the whole injury. entire movie in the beginning. In the beginning, it comes up. Then after that. No, uh, they, they. When she was at the uh, they group, still bring right? It up. Yeah, when they, else did she it brings come up? it at the group? Oh, yeah, Gabriel um, Byrne writing the email. Gabriel yeah. Byrne writing the email, and, and there was one other thing that I'm, I'm blanking on. I'll probably remember later. Yeah, no big deal. But, um, you know, she she's of oh, the sleepwalking thing, that she doused her, her son oh, yeah. and daughter in paint thinner and woke up and everything. And uh, also the scene where they're doing the seance and she starts speaking in her daughter's voice. You go, okay, all right, well, this is a schizophrenic type of thing. Yeah, but... You thought, did you think it was all, none of it was real? It was all symbolic of schizophrenia? Well, that, that's, uh, that's kind of the main question of what people are going to have is, was it real? Is it schizophrenia? I think it's clearly all schizophrenia because Gabriel Byrne is the only reliable na person in the movie. And he's the only one unconnected to this fit lineage. He's, yes. The daughter is, has the same, um, you know, when she sees kind of the things fluttering, she's from... You know, her, the the grandmother, everyone associated. So either whether Every all the line. witchy stuff is real, demon stuff is real or not. I don't think it's They real. are perceiving this weird yes, stuff happening. Absolutely. They're perceiving okay. it all. Um, and I think uh, she almost like forces her son into a psychotic break. Because you don't really, he doesn't show those symptoms. And she's yeah, like. Yeah, he's just a stoner just hanging yeah. out trying to get girls and shit a high yeah. school kid or whatever 
Yeah, and and a lot of that stuff didn't work for me. Like, I understand that you needed that party scene to get to the scene where his um, where he, kills he essentially his decapitates his own sister. Yeah, accidentally, of course. Yeah, and there there was little subtle things like with the mother when she says, uh, you know, you know that she did help to reinforce that there's something wrong with him because he just go he drives home with his sister's little body in the back seat and walks up to bed. Well, he had a psych. He, that's where I think he had a he complete broke. psychotic break. They did center on his on his face for a while. I'm like, all right, yeah. I get it. He's kind of losing it. That's definitely the moment where he had a complete psychotic break, and and that would make sense. For and most then his people. mother pulls him further into it, especially with the little yeah, seance. She, she goes shit. into a complete downward spiral. Huh. That plays. Yeah. That is traction. For and sure. you don't really know kind of what's going on with medication. Actually, the only person you see take medication is is uh, mm -mm. Gabriel Byrne. We see, well, take it, yeah. yeah. We just Towards see it yeah. on her dresser or nightstand or Maybe. something. Yeah, you don't really see it on pill kind of outline, but um, we yeah, never there's... see her take any medicine. We yeah. never see the kid take any medicine. We never see the daughter. We never see yeah. the grandmother alive, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah. We just, yeah, and the grandmother was creepy. All the pictures that you see and, and uh, Yeah, but how do you rectify with Gabriel Byrne going upstairs and seeing the decapitated grandmother? Well, she's schizophrenic and she dug her mother up and brought her into the house. Okay. You know? Mm. And, it, I mean, it's tough. You can say that it is real because you go to Well, that's Jannies. the thing. In general, for movies like this where they're asking you if it's real or not, I'm trying to say it's real because it's a movie. I want to be scared. The I want it to be fantastic. The why I don't believe it's real is because no one ever talks to Janny. No one ever... No one... You Jenny. never... Yeah, whatever her fucking name is. Her, her grandmother's the, friend. You the kid sees her. And height at school. You remember huh? her yelling at him? Yeah, but no one else sees her. Yeah, the mother. He sees her. He's schizophrenic. Yeah. But it's just odd to me. Why would they see... He never... He Did he ever... He never met her. She never met him, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but maybe she, her, the, the mother problems, showed her The whole problem with... I can... I'm on board scrapbook. with your theory. There's evidence for it, definitely. Yeah. I haven't formed my opinion yet. I just saw this once. Yeah. I mean, we're just getting out of it, so we're talking through it. You know, I so would, um, the only thing is that the old lady's a Joni or Janie? It's Janie. Janie. Joni. She, um, how would, like, I never she, how would saw he know her. what she looks like? How would he know what the she scrapbook. sounds like? Yeah, but he didn't. That his grandmother had. How do we really know she never showed that to her through the sleepwalking or anything like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things, that's in the house. That's in the house. Yeah. But what about all the spiritualism stuff we find in the books and shit at the beginning? Yeah. Do you think that, that was how the grandmother manifested her, her insanity and that's how she... yeah. And that's how the daughter, who was the yeah. mother... I'm just... I'm not... Sort of took I, I can't buy it because all of the people from the main bloodline, it's so unreliable. Like, yeah. when we see Gabriel burn light on fire, it's clearly... Like, what we're seeing, she clearly doused him in paint thinner. And she, like, probably even pushed him into the fucking fire. Because mm. he's his body's right by the um, the, the fireplace. fireplace. And and in the other scene, he's way over but not then again, in the fireplace. But then again, we see that through the eyes of the boy. Right. We see the eyes... It's like, what is reliable? Like, to me, the only thing that's reliable is, is the husband. Do you think they set out to make a movie like that where they went too far in trying to make it, all right, it might be real? But also, you're going to yeah. have to look at this. Absolutely. And Do you I, think that's a problem with I, dumb films today? They try way too hard to make it... I don't know. I want to say something and sounds stupid. Not difficult, but just... They go out of their way to make it confusing. Like they're trying to do something like hard Memento to discern or the something. difference. Yeah, I don't know. I'm but not Memento's trying to say. good though, and and it's not like it can very easily kind of deciphered. Whereas yeah. with this, yeah, there's hints, but once again, there's no clear indication of is this reality right now. They did open up with um, zooming into one of her dollhouses, and it was the kid's room or something. Yeah, which I love all the stuff with the dollhouses. I thought it was really creepy. Everything that she's making, yeah. all the miniatures. There's some that very uh, creepy miniatures that happened, of course. Yeah, that, it's that implied stuff really that she, it's not implied that she made them. It's not implied who made them, but 
there in her workspace. Yeah, and she works for some type of gallery type thing that they want. Yeah, some this. gay. We make models and stuff. I yeah. get paid to make miniature models for an art gallery. Yeah. No offense. I'm sorry. I sounded like I was getting upset there. I wasn't. I'm a little tired. And I also have a need to dance. Hmm. Let's, uh... Why don't you describe the ending for me? What happens? Uh, On screen, what happens? The ending of him jumping out of the window of uh, the attic, which also, to me, clearly is totally fake. There's no glass around him. I don't even know if he really went, like, went up into the attic. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's a very strange thing. All these naked ghost people, which reminded me of It Follows, which I was like, this is totally fucking random that you're just throwing these naked ghost people here. Yeah. And he goes. See, up, that's why I, that, that was lends lame. more credence to me. Like it has to be real because it's been the entire movie. You're waiting to throw these weird naked people in the now. Naked ghost people that are all pale. You think those people are real? Was one like his grandma for sure? Could you see uh, the one who was I, like cutting its own? You head hear off? her voice, which reminded me of the witch, where you hear Black Philip. And I was yeah. like, eh, you know, you know what? I was like, man, dude, I really think you just like watched the witch and kind of like we're trying Mixed to do it with something. with Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. But also, Rosemary's it's not real. Baby is a million times fucking better than this. A more, there's shit. a lot less that happens, a lot more action that happens, but it's way more yeah. fast paced. And that's like a two hour yeah. 60s it's, movie, you know? It, it's tough because I don't think this is a bad movie, and I don't no. want people to think that. It's well made, but it's really frustrating. Overproduced? Maybe? I don't know. I, I can't necessarily overproduce because it, it looks pretty like. I mean, the not budget, the yeah. look. I mean, like. Overproduced before shooting. Tries too hard. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say that it's um, it's it's just frustrating. I really me. liked I liked the imagery at the end. It was so bizarre that I I liked it. Yeah, I I and that, let me let me describe to you one of the images just real quick. Yeah, go ahead. He sees a, a wooden Christ statue with his sister's decapitated head on top with a crown, right. holding like a. I don't know, like a baton or something. Mm. Very striking, to say the least. Yeah. He's also in a weird sort of anti-cathedral with the naked ghost people all around him and his mother. It's a treehouse. Treehouse. Yeah. That becomes the anti-church or whatever. <laughs> uh, very striking images. Very, very striking. <laughs> What's the deal with me and you and birds flying around me, man? That's weird. Yeah, didn't, didn't we have a bird flying while we were working? Yes. <laughs> right. It, I, I, we were working together. A bird flies in, hits the window right next to my face. I just have the reaction to see it coming towards me and duck. It hits the window. I hear that, and then all of a sudden it's gone. I'm like, what, did a bird just fucking fly in well, here? Well, that ties right into Hereditary when the bird hits the window that's and she cool. cuts the head off. Well, there you go. Um, yeah. That's what I was talking about earlier when I said I was pissed she didn't present anybody the decapitated bird head or something at the party. Which I do really love the imagery of that when she cuts the head off the bird, the baby bird, and then she Dead loses bird. her head. Yeah. She loses her head. That was really good imagery of kind of blending the two. Of, oh, but yeah, but you never get that later. You, you know, there's never anything kind of alluded to. Right, it, I'd say it's really good. Right up until, right after that happens, then yeah. it starts to just. Then it becomes way too family drama. It's a downward spiral for me with that. Yeah, for sure. I, I was like, I just wish it leaned more into the horror, horror instead of the Brian Hoyer. <laughs> the fucking Browns did that. Look how good it worked out yeah. for him, dude. Uh, it's it's. It feels like an art house horror film. Like, it's like, we don't want to be a horror film, but we're... In order to get these fantastical yeah. images of decapitated heads, yeah. children's heads on top of Christ statues, yeah. you know. Sorry, I, I, you were talking about the ending. I, what, what did you want to talk about with the Oh, no, I got into it. Just With the, him with the crown and all that? And, yeah, they, yeah I... they put a... One of the people says, like, essentially the insane it was real section was a ancient mischievous demon the demon of mischief was trying to inhabit a human host it had to be male it previously tried to inhabit his grandmother or something then it inhabited his daughter then his daughter. daughter yeah. he kills the daughter accidentally in a car accident now it needs him which really ties into the whole psych psychotic delusion thing she immediately says I'm a medium 
She starts, she learns from her friend Janie. Janie had an apartment, though. Did, is that just an apartment in her but mind? was it really an apartment? Yeah, Do we, we ever never, see the yeah, apartment building? Yeah, yeah. Touche. We're, yeah. we're not, we both don't have a full understanding of this. We're just, we're working. We're, like we're you said, bouncing we're bouncing each other off, here. you know. We're, we're, we're bouncing ideas in the wall. <laughs> as soon as Janie showed up, I was like, okay. All right. I know ex if that part became, the Very horror part obvious. became Rosemary's baby. It just was when, a question of me of who was going to be the sacrifice yeah. let's say when you see her you're very clearly like okay well this is an evil person like it's she shows back up fucking i met a medium there was scientists it was it was unbelievable the world of the world of the phantom yeah and so she convinces her to say this aramaic or latin or whatever phrase yeah. and then call out to her daughter and I'm a medium, guys. Wake up. Come yeah. and check it out. And they, they meet at a grief counseling place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the thing That's, is, is I, that I want to bring up, she may you not never have even gone there. saw her. When she goes to the meeting, you never saw Janie there. She says to her in the parking lot, yeah. when they're completely alone, and she rolls down her window, she's like, oh, yeah, I met you a few months ago. I couldn't ago. remember if she was there. She See, that lends, there. that lends credence to the paranoia, and it lends credence to the... Supernatural. I, I guarantee element. you, she was never at that meeting yeah. when you first see her. I can't remember the exactly. Only so time fight you. You that. never see anybody with Janny ever talk to Janny. Even when people are walking at the art show, they never acknowledge her. Yeah. You know. So is the car that she's putting arts and crafts in? Is that totally imaginary? And and the uh, you know her head. You, you can't really say yeah. one way or another. I, I feel like it's it's yeah. it's totally the schizophrenic thing. I think it's most likely that, but I'm not going to weigh judgment until either I see it again or Ugh, somebody makes a compelling review. I like bizarre imagery. This had it in spades. It yeah. was just too few and far between. This movie was too long. Yeah, way too they long. They needed to cut like a third of it. Yeah, but then you got to say, eh, what, what exactly are the specific scenes that you're cutting out? You know, They were stuff. all important scenes. They all showed you something about the character or the yeah. situation, but... It was just a fucking slog to get through. And even when good stuff was happening at the end, I mean, at least interest. You didn't For admit you. it was at least interesting at the end, right? No, I hated it. I hated everything towards the end. Okay. Except, I mean, once once he jumps out of the window, I, I hated fucking everything. Okay. Like, when he's in the attic and you see her, like, bashing her head against the top of the... Uh, um, the... It's one of those the, the addicts ceiling. where you pull down the stairs. Yeah, which is, that that was really cool to me. I liked that. But once we see, like, you know, the ghost people. The which, grandmother decapitating yeah, herself the, the, with Garot. Well, that wasn't the grandmother. That, oh, was, yeah. that was Tony Collat cutting her head off. That was Tony Collat? Suspended in the air. Yep. Suspended she, in the air. I don't know. She looked way different yeah. or super it, older to it, me or it something. Did, she did look weird, but it was her. Okay. But I will, I will bring up one thing. Uh... When you first see a naked, one of the naked ghost people, the, the son sees him, the daughter saw that same exact guy in at the funeral for the grandmother. He was in the corner and he was smiling at her. You remember yeah, that? Yeah. It was very odd. I yeah, laughed, that, I think, because I, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, so that, to me, ties into the whole schizophrenic thing. The daughter has it, too. And, yeah. You know. The, um, the funeral... Was that the same guy who like put weird shit on the grandma's lips? Did you see? Do you remember that? Did you see? Somebody that? did that. I don't know if it was him or if that was a woman or something. I can't remember. And it was probably schizophrenia induced, anyways. Yeah. See, it was um. I get what you're going for. It's just maybe just have one person be schizophrenic. That way, it's more focused. I don't know. Well, it's interesting to But me, it is but, called hereditary. Yeah. It's about being in the family. So obviously yeah. they can't do that. I sound like a moron. Yeah, so that 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 really worked for me. The whole, like, you go, okay, is Tony Collette the one that this didn't affect? You know, she survived, whereas her other family kind of, you know, really hasn't, you know. But after um, some traumatic events, her mother dying. Yeah. Her thinking about this. Um... Did she have any weird stuff going on before the daughter dies? They, Aside from just seeing the grandma. Yeah, they alluded to her covering her kids in paint thinner, one of the matches. 
I mean, but do we see her do anything super weird before that happens? Before her, her the daughter, the daughter dies? dies? Yeah. No, not really. Not that I remember. She just is sort of trying to... She goes to... Uh, either goes or doesn't go to a grief counseling meeting. Yeah. And that's about it. That's the only thing that shows that, all right, I need mm -hmm. some help. And I did want to bring one of the things, because we see the daughter sleep in the, uh, the, the treehouse. Tree house. And her dad, you know, finds her, and he's upset. He's like, you know, it's way too cold up here for you to be doing this. And later on in the movie, the mother does the same thing. She sleeps in there, and Gabriel Burns pissed off. And it's clear that this she's done this before. That's where you the know? kid goes at the end, because yeah. that's the safe place for them mentally, I guess? Yeah, I guess Emotionally? So. I don't know. I don't that, know much about schizophrenia, I'm yeah. sorry. That, that's what makes sense with the whole break thing, is that... That's their. That's when where they go when they break. In that, he's in his mind, yeah. with the with the crown on. And the naked and people. He's just right. He's, he's just, bowing before him. Yeah, and they're all. You never see them speak. It's all in the. It's all behind him. You're just close up on him, and they're all yeah. saying. So it's like it's a voice in his head. You know what his, I mean? Uh, the brother. When the brother killed himself, he wrote in a note. The youngest yeah. hurt Tony Collette's brother when he was younger. They were younger. Mm -hmm. He blamed the mother because. She put voices in his head. Yeah. More towards the hereditary. Because yeah. she did literally put voices in his head. Yeah. Queen, uh, what did, there was this picture at the end. It said Queen something. It had a picture of the grandma. Queen Queen Pierce. Lilith. Queen Queen Lilith. Lilith, yeah. Lilith, okay. yeah. I just want to remember what the second word was. Yeah. What was with the words that were written behind the bed? That was all Satoni. like Latin, some pre. There was a primi, uh, prima, don, pre, something like a prima donium, something that. There pandemonium. Was a lot of pandemonium. Yeah, there was something like Satan. Satoni. Satoni. A lot of Zazos. Yeah. Something like that. Which That's, ties into the weird, bizarre writing. It started in the beginning, but that was weirded me out in the beginning. But then at the end, it didn't really come up. No, nah, so it didn't, didn't pay off. An answer. It didn't pay off, like you know we said, and. Uh, you know, Do you think that she just saw that in her head too? The weird Latin and shit on the behind the daughter's bed. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't shock me. It starts with Latin writing on yeah. your walls. Yeah. Be careful, gang. Yeah. We're not to disparage those who suffer from schizophrenia. Yeah, we're just obviously take your meds just and we're, all cool. we're just kidding. <laughs> we're having a good time here. We're Listen not trying to, to schizo shame people. That's right. <laughs> but. There's yeah. The, what else? Anything else you want to get into with this one? It's any um, weird things that not, stuck out? Honestly, not really. I think the imagery is really the image. It starts out good, then yeah. towards the middle it starts a little bit, and then towards yeah. the end it gets a little bit better. But there's too much, yeah. too much dead time for me. Yeah. But there's stuff going on. It's just it's boring me for some reason. Yeah. I, I really got nothing else to say on it. You know. You want to do final ratings or? Nah. Give this one um. Six. The imagery pushes it above average for me. Yeah, uh, this this kind of started out pretty high for me. I was like, wow, this this could be an eight. I thought it was going to be an me too. Yeah, I thought I it was like, going to be a real intense yeah. horror movie where more horror, but it's also alluding to the fact Other that it could, things, like the yeah. Baba Duke. You remember that? Like it's also yeah. referring to it could be just a mental illness. That's, but it was sort yeah. of. The mental illness was wrapped up all in it, but that, it was called Hereditary, yeah. and I'm guessing it is about I, schizophrenia. I would, that's that's a good movie to bring up. I think the Babadook does this way better. Um, and I didn't yeah. really like the Babadook. It's, it's a lot well shorter. Yeah, very well made. Uh, I watched it once. I thought it was yeah. good. I don't remember much about yeah, it. It's, it's well made. Uh, but uh, yeah, this started for me at like an eight. I was like, wow, this is fantastic. Once we see the grandmother outline. And her kind of face. I was like, "Ooh, this is creepy. I love this." I was like, "Yeah, I'm on board. A yeah. nice, intense fucking horror movie." And then it's and then it dropped to like a seven, and I was like, "Okay, you know, I'm not in love with this, but I feel like I have to give it this rating because it's they're the giving us this level. emotional stuff just yeah. so we can get to the really good yeah. scare." Yeah, and just some of the scenes with Tony Collette kind of saying her speeches and stuff. I was like, "Wow, she's really good," but then towards the end, it, it really dropped for me, and. Uh, um, I, I have to give it a six just based on just the quality of filmmaking, but I, I this movie's to me really deeply flawed. Tony Collette, she um she had a little bit of the Winona Ryder in what's it called, that show? Stranger Things. Stranger Things syndrome. She was it's, to me it's, she it's was right. way sharper, way better in a lot of points, but there were some points where she yeah. um 
I was like, all right, come yeah, on, the, just get over it. The, the mom hysteria it. I thought was really good. I thought she was very good in the movie. There's a lot of moments where it was really good. I'm not yeah. saying the whole time was bad. I said a little, yeah. a little bit of the Winona syndrome, let's say. <laughs> for you, for you, a little of the Winona syndrome. When um, she's screaming at the kid at dinner, it was very good, very effective. I really liked that, when she just vents completely on her son. Yeah, that was great. Then the son answers back. That was pretty. That was pretty tense moment. Yeah, and that's why we what tie about into when the, she it's didn't a family want to go drama. To the, what about when she didn't want to go to the party? Yeah, she didn't want to go. You so made yeah, her. What about you, mom? What about you? Is there any blame for you? Yeah, very but, tense. Um, I just I would have liked to have seen more Gabriel Byrne for sure. Yeah, loved it. Loved it when he was in the movie. But yeah, like I say, for people, it's you know it's more of a family drama than a horror film. So family drama with some. Horror elements. Horror elements. Yeah. Slight horror elements. With some very, very bizarre striking imagery. And uh, definitely check out the movies that we've mentioned throughout the review. Those are better movies to check out, I would say. If only I could remember them. Rosemary's Baby, oh, Babadook, yes. uh, The Witch, um, It Follows, we brought up. We brought up way better movies. <laughs> Any older movies in this sort of vein, in this style, besides Rosemary's mm -hmm. Baby, that you can think of? Sort of questioning whether it is real or whether it's all in a character's mind or something. Because mm -hmm. I feel like it's a lot more prevalent now than it is... There's, there's a little too much is it in the mind thing. I like it when it's blatant, like The Omen. Yeah, me you know, too. Where it's like, you're clearly like... You know this is demonic. It <laughs> yeah. is the end of the world. Gregory this Peck little is not kid, crazy. If he does not stab this kid, we're all done. For. <laughs> right. Great score, by the way, for that yeah. film, The yeah. Omen. Yeah, fantastic. Richard Donner directed that. But uh, yeah, give it a six. I, I agree. We're we're really in lockstep lately. Oh my God! It's like <laughs> it's like we're one. Um.